Oh, oh, hey, hey, um, you didn't see that, you didn't see that. Ew. Nah, yeah, you did see that. Anyways, okay, today's video is going to be about making this uh, Jack Daniels bottle into a coolant reservoir tank for the Datsun. Uh, simple stuff. Hose, clamp. I made a, um, a leather strap thing um, with the design. I'll kind of show you what, I'm, what I did. Um, mostly Harbor Freight stuff. Pretty simple. Pretty cool. Should be pretty easy. You know, any... Any nut job can do this with a couple, couple bolts, wrenches. Um, maybe I I just got fancy with it because I wanted to do something special, make it look nice. But should be pretty legit. Um, just finished it clearly. <laughs> I'm not an alcoholic, I promise. I'm, sure, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not. But it's good. It's good. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. So first thing we gotta do, remove the old coolant tank bracket and the hose from the coolant tank to the radiator. Let's do that. So all this takes is a 10 millimeter bolt back here. If you have two of them, I already had relocated this once before. Um, so that's all it is, 10 millimeter bolt. And take off the hose from here. You will spill some coolant, so plug it up or do something. I got this uh, old pen, so yeah, poor man's plug. Okay, so now you have to find a spot in the firewall or on the wheel well, wherever, next to the radiator, wherever you want to put it. I have a bunch of brake lines over here, um, but I have a nice wheel well right here that can serve perfectly for what I got. So I figure kind of just mount it like right there. That should be good. You know, everybody can see it maybe this way. So let's get that done and let's get a, a strap and mark our mark our mounting holes so that we can mount it right here and I'm gonna be using rivnuts nuts to uh, secure it so that I have something sturdy to bolt to and I can remove it whenever I want later okay so now I've already made this stuff earlier this is the bottom strap that I wanted to use um, for the uh, the uh, the strap for the for the coolant um, I was intending on using this one on top also to hold the neck of the bottle, but I don't think I'm going to be able to use it with the uh, wheel well there. So all, all this is is a piece of uh, leather from a, a belt from Harbor Freight. They're like eight, nine bucks. You get yourself one of those, make a little design. See, I made myself like two little ridges, and these follow nicely on the contour of the bottle. So when you put it on there, it looks pretty nice, and it it's pretty straight-ish, you know. But I'm also going to be staining this, and this is just going to be the strap for the uh, for the bottle. So it'll kind of be like that, like a U-strap. So I'm just going to put these at the edge, um, drill two holes on this side, and two holes on this side, and then we'll figure out where to mount it, and then we'll put it on one side, and then we'll strap it up to the other side, and get this strap on, strapped, <laughs> onto the bottle. Don't be sick, people. Come on now. Um, these are the rib nuts we're going to be using. So, see, see that? Little rib nuts. What is this? A little bolt goes in there. Put that on there. Squeezes that up pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see that focus. So, we'll drill the hole, we'll put these in. This will crush, and then I'll have a permanent spot where I can just bolt and unbolt this um, from the uh, leather strap on the car and you know get your little little two I know there's better tools in this one but this is what I have I got this from a old job so thanks Acura <laughs> uh, so yeah let's get to that all right so with the help of my son, which is right now, okay, well he, did, he left. Uh, anyways, um, so mark your leather, or strap if you're doing it, or however you're gonna mount it. Um, I mark mine, so just mark it, drill it big enough for the bolt hole, and just 
let it go. Don't kill your fingers, please. Don't, don't do that. Jesus, this is tough. Cool. And there's your uh, your two holes. Now you go back to the car. Um, I'm gonna measure this up and see how it fits. So hopefully this will line up good and then I'll mark um, where I want it and just drill the same hole um, for this one on the on the fender well. A little bit bigger because the fender nut is actually bigger than this hole so I have to go slightly bigger than the, fen the, the rib nut. So um, just keep that in mind. The This hole is big enough for the bolt but the rib nut has to be a bigger um, bigger hole so you can squeeze this but not too big you don't want this in there too loose you want this kind of snug in there when you put in that in that hole uh, but I'll show you all right so there's your bottle see this how that's gonna fit real nice it should look nice once it's all bolted up but that's general idea of how it should look for mine that's pretty nice I would say so figure out where you want to mount it put it in there mark your hole and then make sure you're happy with it because that's where you're gonna put it you can move it later but just be happy with it at least just do it once so now we're gonna drill the holes here and that should be pretty good So now we're gonna get the, the tool and uh, well not the bolt but two rib nuts is pretty simple you tighten this one down tighten this down hold this nut right here hold this nut and tighten this down with the allen key and then just keep it in there straight and then that will crush this uh, this rivet right here so let's nuts already this is where it's gonna go so we got our, our two rib nuts already right there and then we just got to drill the other two so I'll go ahead and do, do those line everything up because that'll take a little bit of time and then we'll get back to you once it's uh, pretty much mounted up uh, and then we can go on from there with the leather staining and uh, the couple little decoration things on the leather that I want to do just to make it look fancy, not necessary, just, just to make it look fancy. All right, so uh, I mounted everything up, everything's good. I moved on to the bottle, got a little ahead of myself, and I did the, uh, the cap. All you had to do is drill a hole in the cap and put your hose through it. I put a bunch of uh, hot glue underneath. Focus, focus. Focus, focus, whatever. Anyways, there's hot glue underneath. Just make sure that the length of the hose is long enough to reach the bottom of the bottle. The bottom, the bottom. Remember that. And then uh, just mount it however you have it, which I'll show you in a minute, in a second. Um, and then you're pretty much done. I'm gonna be staining that leather, um, but I'll just do that in passing and then just show you how it's done at the end. So yeah, let's skip, skip ahead. Okay, so this is what it looks like afterwards. Once I stained it, I'll show. I'll put a before picture so you can see how light it really was. But uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much what I had in mind. Then you run your hose all along the side, 
and back to the ra the radiator tank. So pretty simple, pretty elegant, I would say. But I mean, I'm the only one saying it. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's that. You know, that's a pretty cool little cool little reservoir tank. Pretty legit. Came out nice.